As a child, I grew up reading a lot of science fiction novels, and one of my favorite authors was William Slater. And he wrote all kinds of books about kids solving puzzles and learning advanced technologies and alternate dimensions and things like that, um, which was really, really fun. And I also really loved adventure books like Nancy Drew. I remember every chapter would end with an exclamation point and my heart used to race and I always wanted to know what would come next. One of the things that was uh, really fortunate is I had a job in the town library and I used to uh, really, we had a great selection of nonfiction books about robotics and AI. And I remember I was about 14 or 15 and I read Society of Mind by Marvin Minsky and I you know, ran home and started working on how to build an intelligent machine. Still working on that one. <laughs> but um, really after all these experiences, I, I, didn't, I couldn't possibly do anything else other than become a roboticist. So here I am. <laughs> so at Notre Dame, my research focuses on two main areas, robotics and healthcare. And in robotics, what we do is we work on building robots that are able to socially understand the world around them and that can automatically sense, respond, and adapt to people, uh, what people are doing. And our research is enabling robots that can be teammates to people. So this work is really, really important for people who may need assistance uh, being independent with day-to-day -day tasks, such as people with disabilities uh, and older adults. We're also using our robotic sensing technology to help save lives in healthcare. We put our sensors in hospitals and are studying how and when medical errors occur. We hope one day this technology will enable healthcare teams to intervene before an error happens. I teach a class called Autonomous Mobile Robots and students learn about the computational problems in building robots to make decisions automatically. And this includes sensing and perceiving the world, making plans and maps and solving problems. We also explore current research topics in the field such as how to enable driverless cars, social robots, and using robots in healthcare. And the class has a final capstone project where the students exhibit their work at a community outreach event for National Robotics Week. With National Robotics Week, it was really, really fun to kind of just go out there, um, show our research projects, show classroom projects that were being done using robots in new ways that we haven't really explored, and just kind of uh, taking it out to the public. And robots are a really good way for kids to get excited about um, science, math, and technology this ability for robots to really solve problems and really help people is, is really rewarding and really exciting for us.